So what's a good number for my blood sugar to be? That's a good question. So um, the first number we want you to check in the day is your fasting, which is eight hours without eating. We want you to check it when you first wake up. Um, and we want that number to be less than 95. Okay, and what if my blood sugar is too high? Right, so if it's too high, which we say high is over 200, then um, we want you to call us. And uh, if it's too low, if it's less than 60, then um, you may feel symptoms, you may get shaky, sweaty, nauseous. So if you haven't checked your blood sugar yet, you need to check your blood sugar. If you check it and it's less than 60, um, you need to eat something with carbohydrate, like a sandwich, a pack of crackers, um, and then you also need to drink something with sugar in it. Um, and that'll help bring your blood sugar back up. If after you do that, it's still low, then you need to call us because it's not coming up like it should. Okay, now what can I do if it's too high? If it's too high, um, you can take a walk. That helps bring your blood sugar down. And then you can also drink water. That can help bring it down too. Okay. So um, the fasting, like I said, we want it to be less than 95. Then two hours after you eat, we want it to be less than 120. Um, and so if it's okay with you, I'm gonna show you how to use the meter. Okay, does it hurt? It, I'm not gonna lie to you, it does hurt a little bit, but I can teach you some tricks so it doesn't hurt as much okay. as, as you would think it would. So um, when you first use the meter, you may have to set up like the date and the time, um, but otherwise you'll take a strip like this and all meters are different, they look different, but they all work kind of the same. Um, and if you get a meter that's different than this one, you can ask the pharmacist to show you how to use it or you can come back to the clinic and bring it and we can show you how to use it. So the first thing you'll do is take a strip and you'll put it in the meter with the chip side in and that just turns the meter on um, and then you'll see this little screen where the blood's drop, um, blinking. If the blood drop is not blinking, it turns off, she has an air message or anything, just pull the strip out and push it back in to turn it back on. Okay. All right, so the meter's ready. Now we're gonna get the needle ready. You'll pull the top off and you'll take your needle, you'll push it in and then you'll twist the top off and pull it straight off so you don't bend the needle. It's a tiny needle, right? Right. Right. So maybe it won't hurt as much. Um, and then you want to save this top because we'll use it again later. We'll put this top back on and then this shows different size blood drops. So we've got small, medium, and large. Some um, devices have numbers, one through five, one through 10. The higher the number, the stronger the stick. Um, so at home, you can wash your hands with soap and water, or if you have alcohol pad, you can take an alcohol pad, wipe off the side of your finger. The side of your finger hurts less. The tip of your finger hurts more. So use the side of the finger. Okay. Um, and then however you clean off your hand, just make sure you dry it really good. I'm gonna dry it off. And then I'm gonna hold it against the side of my finger and I'm gonna push this button. I got me that time. So um, you're supposed to wipe off the first drop and then we'll use the next drop. So kind of squeeze it and if you still don't get enough by squeezing just the end of your finger, you can push from your hand, hold your finger down and that'll get more blood. But this is plenty of blood. Okay. And you'll hold the blood drop into the strip. It'll draw it up like a straw. It takes five seconds to read. And this number is 102. So if that was a fasting, that would be too high. If it was um, after two hours after a meal, it'll be okay. Okay. So then once you're done, um, you'll take the strip out and the needle, just be careful when you open this back up because the needle's not covered anymore. Um, this, some needles, you can just pull it out. This one, it'll release it. You push and pull back, it pops out. Then I can recover it so I don't stick myself again. Once was enough. <laughs> And then um, you want to put the strips and the needles in a sharps container. If you don't have a sharps container, you can make your own. You can use a milk jug, a detergent bottle with the top on it. Fill that up and then throw it away. Does that seem easy enough? It does. And it didn't hurt you at all. Right. <laughs>